There are currently people stomping around outside. <sighs> Back to apartment living. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can't hear it because a lot of times I feel like it's really loud outside but usually the camera doesn't pick it up so I'm hoping for that. Anyways, hey, what's up guys? It's Courtney. Welcome back. I have moved this past week. If you were wondering why I've been missing the past week, I will be doing an apartment tour. I know like the background, like the same old pillows behind me as usual, but they are different pillows. I mean, they're old pillows, but they're new for you guys. So I thought I would switch it up a bit, add some new pillows in, and I crocheted that blanket. Side note. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite life hacks to kind of unwind at night and fall asleep faster. So I really hope you guys find these helpful. I'm also having a giveaway and it's starting right now. So I'm giving a $250 Visa gift card away. All you have to do to enter is click that subscribe button. And once I hit 300,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a humongous giveaway, maybe for like a MacBook or something like that. So help me get there. And this giveaway is going to run till the end of the month, August 30th, and I'll be announcing the winner then. So don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get into this video. This first hack is to know how to manage your caffeine intake. And so whether you like tea or coffee, personally, I am a tea drinker. I got this little tea station set up in my kitchen right now, but I know my body is super sensitive to caffeine, so I don't drink any after noon. Otherwise it will keep me up all night, but a good alternative is decaf or something like this, which is sleepy time tea. And it also helps you relax and unwind. This next life hack is to kind of de-stress your mind and make a to-do list for the next day. That way you know what you have to do and your mind isn't racing of all the things you need to do while you're laying in bed at night. This really, really helps me a lot. For this next one, you wanna adjust the lighting based on the time of day and your body's natural rhythm. So during the daytime, open up all the windows, get some nice natural light, put on lights if you want to, and at night, turn it all off, including lamps. It's no secret that the lights from your electronics affect your natural rhythms as well, like we talked about in the last life hack, but if you must use them, I don't know about Androids, but at least on iPhones, if you go under your settings, you could click this little button here and it actually makes a yellow tint to your screen and it gets rid of that blue light so it's less harsh on your eyes and body. The next life hack is to make your room cool to sleep. So a trick I have is during the summer months when it's extra hot, I just like to use this thin quilt on top as opposed to my normal big comforter. It saves on my electric bill too because I'm not cuddled up under this thing and being cool helps you sleep. So I like to put the big comforter at the very foot of my bed. You know, when I make my bed, I put it on, but when I actually go to sleep, I just take it off and fold it up in the corner with all my pillows. So it still looks cute, but I'm not sweating during the middle of the night night when it's like 90 degrees outside. So that helps me a lot. I found by doing this, I could actually push the air up two degrees, save a little money, and I'm still cooler than I was with my big comforter. So for this next hack, we're gonna do a breathing exercise, and this is called the 478 method. You're gonna put your tongue behind your top front teeth and then fully exhale. Close your mouth, inhale for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then exhale with your mouth open for eight seconds. Then you wanna repeat that three times, and doctors swear this is like a method to fall asleep in under a minute. And what it does is it raises your oxygen levels and releases CO2 from your lungs, so it slows your heart and calms you down. So try that one out and let me know how it works for you. This last life hack is finding a mattress that works for you. Like I mentioned, we just moved and my last mattress was so flimsy and squishy. It had no support whatsoever and it was actually killing my back. So Hyphen reached out to me to see if I wanted to try their mattress and Andy and I have been absolutely loving it. I'm setting it up here. This is when we first moved into the apartment. It was also so much easier to store this box in the trailer since the mattress does come in the box like you saw and it was so much, it took up a lot less space. So my stepdad was very happy when he was loading the trailer. As you could see it's so cool how it unwinds it almost reminds me you'll see when I cut that thin plastic it um, kind of expands like this and it's the coolest thing it reminds me of those like little inchworms that you get wet and then it expands and I would never believe that they fit a queen size mattress in the box so they have all sizes it's very very affordable this mattress is firm yet very squishy at the same time. I have been sleeping so well and we ended up putting it on like a platform box spring type of thing. And no, they're not paying me to review this. They sent it to me and I have been obsessed. So this is my honest opinion. I couldn't be happier. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, I'll be uploading three times a week. So tune back in on Thursday for a new video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.